Michael Benner here at the Lighting Dimensions International 2012 trade show. We're kicking it here. One of the things we want to show you is the new APC40 integration with Beyond. We have an APC40 here and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to configure and use with Beyond. So we got the APC40 here. One of the great things about it is it's a MIDI device onto itself. So you just plug it in the USB port of the computer it will automatically install a driver on the computer instantly. There's no disk you have to install or anything else. So we've just got this plugged in. It's ready to go now. We'll go ahead and start Beyond. And once Beyond is running, you'll see exactly how to use the APC with Beyond. So here it's starting up. The very first thing we want to do is go to the MIDI settings menu. So that's here on settings. We'll go to the MIDI settings. And then what you want to do is configure the APC40 to be the input and the output. You want the input because the APC40 is controlling Beyond. You want the output so that Beyond can send feedback to the APC40 to light the lights and so forth, things like that. So once this is you got this configured for input and output, can click on this configure button, and we have supplied a ready-to-go profile. So click on open, and one of the profiles that we supply is called APC40 here. Just click on that, and pretty much that's all there is to it. From this point on, you can go ahead and start triggering cues. You can see that as I'm clicking the buttons, things are happening here, but we can do it a little bit better because one of the things you'll notice is that the APC40 has a different number of buttons, horizontal, rows, and vertical. So the next thing to do is to come over here to the settings menu and to grid settings, and we can control exactly how many settings here, how many rows and columns Beyond has. So you're basically matching up the rows and columns in Beyond to what they have here on the APC40? Yes, that's right, man. So that's it. So you can see that it's all lighting up right now. We can click on cues, trigger the cues. I can go ahead and enable the laser output. We'll get that going on multiple zones. And you have the zone selection here. So we can actually send the, the, uh, the laser output to multiple zones, multiple lasers. We can control the size. Just trigger a cue here. You can control the, the fading in and out, as you can see. We can control the size, position, rotation angle, all kinds of different things here available to you, including the controls down here in the quick effects. You can control the amount of the effect that takes place and the actual quick effect selection itself. Oh, that's really easy. So it's really cool. Can we see it live in laser? Sure, just a second. Since we're controlling so many lasers here, what I'm going to do is select a bunch of different zones up here in the preview window. Well, that's pretty easy, Bill. If people are interested, how can they get this? Well, they can contact us at pangolin.com. We'll be glad to hook them up with the latest APC40 definitions, and we'll have this on our website for download pretty soon. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining us.